revolution. Look, Marklins, on standby. Log online. Fam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast. I'm Pistol Pete from Spockholm. Uh, this evening, I have with me the ladies of the show, Jana Migdeth by Gucci and Jennifer the Mafia Wars Loot Lady. We um, are apologize for having to miss Friday's show, but um, several different things came up in, for each and every one of us, it seems. So it was going to be quite the challenge to try to get a show put together. So uh, we figured we'd recap this week with all the game changes and new sparklets and all kinds of stuff so yeah there's been a lot of news i felt so bad about missing because i knew jen had tons to talk about (laughs) there was so much going on like we were pre-planning our episode and then you know real life steps in from time to time and i think that might be the first time it has been the first time out of what are what number show are we on now? A million, a hundred and eighteen or something like that. Yeah. yeah, we're near one twenty, somewhere around there. Yeah, so not yeah. too bad, unless you count all the shows that Chester misses. Oh yeah, we're not counting <laughs> Chester's <laughs> miss. <laughs> We've had like what four shows? <laughs> we tried to talk him into a pop in today. Yeah, he wouldn't it, pop it's in. It's work. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, taking pictures for the people of Walmart. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he was at Walmart on a Sunday night. He didn't sound happy. His so. new greeter uh, job? Yeah, he's greeting people at the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, he hasn't come to that yet. We'll see how. He hasn't been playing, though. He's actually uh, taken a little step back lately from the game. So, yeah, he's just as out of the loop as uh, I am at the moment. So, fill us in. What's going on? Anything new, Pete? Yeah, we, uh, we, I say that term loosely because it's really been Martin and I, I've been actually, actually extremely swamped with work stuff. We had a conference we attended and just had a lot of preparation and stuff. And, but I can, Martin have been working behind the scenes on trying to see if there was a way to resurrect the Lincolnator. Now there has not been a found way to do that yet, but what we have done and what I kind of, um, figured might be the plan of approach we'd have to take with it when the dust all settled is we created what's called the gift blaster. There you go. That sounds good. <laughs> go with it. Took me a minute because I was like, was it the gift blaster omatic or what? No, yeah, it was it. the gift blaster. And what it does is it basically lets you choose your family and or your entire mafia. And then it sends out 50 at a time the actual requests of whichever gift you choose from the free gift page. Oh, and nice. then the intention is that if your family or whoever those other people are return the gifts, then you should get a nice chunk of gifts coming back into your ZMC so that you can go ahead and, you know, do whatever part of the game you're trying to do. Like, for example, the new um, gifting event, uh, which I'm sure Jen will cover in a lot more detail later. With that, we've also modified the ZMC agent once again that now includes an option of whether or not you want to thank people or not thank them. So you can actually go ahead and do that as well within the the actual ZMC agent. So those are those are the two things that have been kind of done in conjunction. Now, something probably worth mentioning is that the Lincolnator is not extremely and 100% dead. What we probably ought to do is disable the gifting portion of the Lincolnator but in the Lincolnator on the top half of the page are what are called general links. And those general links are still active. And they so, can be very helpful to Yeah, because there's energy links there. There's the link for your mission crew. Um, there's the link for your, you know, your Brazil crew and that kind of stuff too. And to your war Facebook help. profile, Your promotion. Facebook profile, yeah, war profiles, all that stuff's still in there. So Lincolnator is not as a tool 100% dead we may need to kind of slightly just modify what it's there for and one thing that people might want to consider is still publishing the links from your crews and stuff because then getnator would still work to go ahead and build up your crew list pretty quick so you know it, it's it's i don't know i don't want to so even say still six keep one those up. links rolling and that would help me and it would you help could, other players too you could use it to help people with their properties too mm-hmm. true 
Although you can only help five a day. Right. So there's a few things that are still within the Lincolnator that still have that are applicable to what the game is currently turned into. So I just wanted to make that point. Now, what we probably ought to do is go in and disable out all the gifting portion of the links until such a time that we're able to make links again. Or if that never comes to pass, then Lincolnator will just be for the general links. Well, it's but, such a shame because it's so sorely missed. I mean, people really miss being able to get the links and go through and collect. It's so much easier. Yeah, you know, and I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of um, riding the fence on this one because, like I think Jen said two shows ago, the gifting event that's going on right now, I thought it was going to be more painful to get those gifts. But with a combination of, like, Gift Blaster, if you send out... Let's say to even a thousand of your family members, if you have a thousand, or even 501, if all you had were 501 family, then if, you know, let's say a hundred of them only gave you the gifts back, then you've pretty much got all the gifts you need for the first section of the free gifting event. So um, I don't see it as, as a big an issue as I think I even originally thought it might be. I'm liking the ZMC the way it's going. Now, I will talk about something that's obviously out there in the wild, which is the ability to go in and change the ID numbers of the items within the ZMC and, you know, the impact that that's having on the community. You know, there's a lot of people that are saying, is it a bug? Is it a glitch? Is it intentional? I mean, or is it something that Zynga even really cares about? You see, as I keep thinking about it and for people that want to find out more about the glitchy part of it, they can go look at Jen's blog and she's got a post on this. Um, and what happens is you can actually go in and change code on an individual gift and receipt something else. So let's say you get a special part in your ZMC and you really don't need special parts right now. You need uh, uh, special, the animal, animal part. Exo feed. Yeah, exo Perfect. exotic animal feed. What you can do is actually convert the one item into another. And the, as I get to thinking about it, you know, the question is, does it hurt anybody if you do that? And I'm not sure it really does. If I, you know, if, if I'm not gifted what I need, but I can find another way to get the gift I need, then I'm not sure if it really makes a big difference. And I'm not sure it's something that right. Zynga has to fix. You know, you're still limited to the 100 items within your, your actual ZMC. You're also tied to that you can only um, open up, what, 200 gifts a day still? And yeah. the problem is, I'm not sure it really makes any difference because most of the items that show up on the free gifts page are items they want you to share around anyway. So I'm not sure if you end up with 5,000 animal feeds, which, so what? I mean, I'm not sure that this is going to have any kind of negative impact on, you know, a balancing of the game or whatever else that someone can convert one gift into another. I know it's not what they intended, but I don't know that it actually harms anything. And so, you know, there's been some conversation at Spock Home on whether or not we'll make this, you know, feature that's currently available in the game, you know, exposed. And we might do that if it's still in the game come Monday. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure that it's not necessarily something that Zynga has to fix. There's a lot of people that are, you know, getting bent out of shape over it. And I, and I think if you think through it, I'm just now getting the gifts that I really need. And all I'm doing, it, it's like going to uh, Trader No-Go and saying, hey, I need this one instead of this one. And you get it. So I don't see any harm in that. So, oh, it's Trader Go. Trader No-Go? <laughs> Trader No-Go. <laughs> we we call it deal. deal you want. <laughs> make your deal. Put put nice stuff inside your ZMC agent. Ha, 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 ha. So, well, and I know people fear that if they fix it so you can't do that, what is it going to change? Like, is it going to screw up all the scripts that are already out there is the bigger fear. Well, I don't know. I guess the question, the big thing that comes with that is how much of the game messaging system has to be manipulated in order to fix that bug slash feature slash glitch, whatever you want to call it. So if, if it takes almost a complete rewrite of the ZMC in order to overcome that bug, then yes, there's lots of things that can potentially break as a result of it. However, I, you know, I'm back to, if you think about it logically, what's there really to gain other than some items that you really need anyway? And, and so what? So you get to finish the, the gifting event 
um, a little bit faster than someone else, well, they have the same options as well. You know, or <laughs> putting that aside, who cares who finishes it first? Absolutely. You know, it really True. doesn't make any difference. And there's some people that will never even do the gifting event. So exactly. if that's the case, then why, again, what's the unfair advantage of leaving that feature slash bug slash glitch inside the game? Um, and that's that's just kind of my take on it. I, if I were working at Zynga, I'd say I'd just leave it alone. It's not hurting anybody. It has no, it's not causing the organization, Zynga, it's not costing them any money. You know, because people are opening the maximum amount of gifts they're going to get in a day anyway. And if they choose to open only, you know, animal feeds, so be it. You know, there's 200 animal feeds for you. Have a nice day. Whatever you get. I think it will help players, too, because a lot of the newer players that don't know any better will send you these ridiculous gifts that you don't even want. So you end up ignoring them. And some people take it to the extreme and say, if anyone sends me a feeding trough, I'm going to delete them from my mafia. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. in a sense, it will eliminate that problem. And then there won't be so much pressure on the players who don't know any better. Yep. Because that causes problems a lot of times. That's true. I mean, and that's where the family yeah. turmoil comes from, you know, in general. Mm -hmm. And then it might help with player retention because I know if I was starting this game and I sent people feeding troughs thinking they were cool and then I got blasted for it, I would be like, screw this. Yeah. Yeah, but take like, you know, carpenter nails. If you've built up all your properties, what good are carpenter nails to you anymore? And yeah. if I can turn that into animal feed or special parts to build my build my items when I craft, they then make a lot more sense. So what? Yeah. yeah, you know, or and that's no different than anybody just saying, "Oh, I'm just going to wait until animal, you know, animal feed and special parts come through my ZMC." Or I'm going to go out and send 50 at a time, you know, animal feeds to someone else and hope they're going to send me back the animal feed in return. I, I'm just not sure it's this is this is that big a deal in the scheme of things. I don't I don't attribute this to being like some of the other glitches that are out there that you are getting you know a, a hundred thousand reward points you know for opening up you know treasure chests or something like that. I don't I don't see it on the same scale personally. But you know I'm not working for Zynga, so they can do whatever they want. They have um, a chance. Yeah. I think they're gonna leave it alone. I speculate that they might, but you never know. So right, I, I, I think there's things that could be fixed. That's my stance too, Jenna. I think that there is so many bugs in the game that if you really want to divert your attention to doing something that really has an impact, then you know, take and think through some of these other things that are going on. Like right now, you know, there's this whole health battle going on and out there in the world of yeah, mafia it's out wars. Of control. And Zynga was part of the problem to it. If you really get down to the root of the issue that happened with health, it wasn't so much that a player chose to put that much energy, that much of their skill points, or even craft that much into their health. The problem really resided when they created the, the distillery. Distillery. You almost couldn't <laughs> do it. And the distillery, in combination with the two times crew bonus, now all of a sudden you 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 got like seventy eight thousand health. And who's going to get iced with 78,000 health? And who wants to dump that kind of stamina into trying? Well, or the accidental boost your health. Yeah. Because so many people are buying those because of the screen jumping. Yeah. And that was a big problem in the turkey event, and they added a confirm button to the turkey right. protections. Right. But they didn't add it to anything else, and they didn't add it to that boost your health. And that's located on the bottom of the hospital. So it's that's the first thing you're going to accidentally click on. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and to me, this is the stuff that they should be addressing. And you don't address it by just reducing the health timer so that now those people that have planned their whole entire game strategy around having a timer that exists at a certain level, you know, at minimum, you know, or at maximum, I guess I should say, because there are occasions that they have introduced other stuff in the game to reduce the timer down on when you heal. There are players out there, so what if they can heal constantly? That's part of their game strategy. But when you put in a, a feature in the game that now lets someone create an astronomically high health stat, 
It takes all the fun out. It, there's no possibility of icing people no. anymore. It's what's going on in the family battles, and people are getting frustrated there. It's what's happening with icing, and it doesn't make a difference whether or not you use the assassinator or whether or not you use 